guys feel comfortable? Yeah, I think I think I mean we've we live in Texas and we practice in the heat every chance we can get. So uh, that's nothing new to us. Um, I don't think it's supposed to be that hot on game day, anyways, down there. So um, I think we're all looking forward to it. I know we asked you before just about kind of the swagger this defense has started to show in the offseason and preseason. Just mm-hmm. the level of excitement now to actually take that to the regular season and kind of show what you feel you've been able to do defensively. 100%. And we got a top notch opponent right out of the gate. So, I mean, that's why you love football. Yeah, I'm, I'm so pumped to, to play against them and to play against him. Obviously, it's going to be my first time, so uh, I'm looking forward to it. I know all the guys are. we got a, we got a good energy going. we got uh, great intensity every single day, focus. Um, and I think I think DQ's uh, started that day one of this offseason, and we've just carried it all the way through. So the guys have done a really good job staying together and leaning on each other, and I think I think I know we're ready to play. As someone who's watched Brady for so long and now had a chance to really properly study him, what about his game he appreciate? Shoot. I mean, he can do it all. There's a reason he's still playing and he still wants to play for a long time. you got to respect a guy like that. Uh, I mean, he, 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 is, he is a student of the game. I mean, right now he's probably qualified as a professor at this point. But, uh, no, the guy, the guy does it all. He's an extremely crazy good athlete. Um, if he catches you sleeping, he's going to exploit it play after play after play. So you got to be on. you got to be focused every single play and not be looking too ahead, looking too ahead or, or the play behind you. How do you make him uncomfortable? How do you got to pressure him? Get him off the spot. Where do you start with that offense? Because they're a lot like you guys. they got a runner. they got receivers, tight ends. What do you start when you're trying to look at them and say, okay, this is where you got to focus on? Everybody doing their job. If everybody does their job on every single play, uh, I think I think we're going to be successful. So, um, like it comes down to all eleven guys doing their part to this defense. Even though you've been in the league a while, it's still a little special to go against him since you've never been before. Can you talk about that a little bit more? Yeah, uh, I mean I've everybody everybody wants to play against Tom Brady, um, and I'm looking forward to playing against Gronk too. So uh, it's, it's my first chance to do that. Uh, Obviously, I've been I've been itching ever since second year here when when I missed that game. So I'm looking forward to it. I'm extremely excited. I know all the guys are, um, but like I said, we're focusing day at a time, and we can't let that get in the way of focusing and doing our job. Everybody likes night games, but what's the weight to a night game? How much does it suck just kind of sitting in your hotel waiting and get up and yeah. go to the game? All that stuff? I'm not a fan of night games. Okay. Um, exactly like you said, I don't like waiting all day, but. You gotta, you gotta keep you, you gotta put that past yourself and realize that you gotta take care of your body, hydrate throughout the day, rest, maybe pop on some film. But at that point, you're ready to play, and you've done all the preparation for the whole week. So uh, there's no point in, in trying to cram a bunch of stuff in your mind and, and clutter your mind before the game. So trust in what you practice during that week and just focus on hydrating and getting your body ready for the, for for game for kickoff. Um, it was usually evening games, uh, and then we got when we got into the playoffs. Then it was earlier games. Last year was the performance. How much has defense? What would you tell fans about why you're ready to improve on that? Can you say that again? Last year wasn't the performance. How much defense? What would you tell fans about why the defense is more ready to get the job done? Just the clarity and the intensity and focus every single day. Um, I think we're ready to play fast, and I think that we've shown that in practice. We're ready to go. I think all of it, but I think it's our mindset um, of running every single play and knowing that there's going to be 11 guys to the ball all the time. And when you pop on that film, you want to see all whatever color jersey we're wearing, you want to see them in the frame. Can you get to one moment or one thing that Dan's taught you this preseason? What has been most helpful or most impactful for you? Uh, just being where your feet are. Being where your feet are now. Um, whether you're working out, whether you're studying film, um, in practice, in the play of practice, uh, just being where you are. Mike, I told him that he said y'all went shooting here after the race. 
Yeah. What was that like, and how did that come about? Yeah, no, it was fun. He he's been he was asking me for a few days, and I told him, all right, let's go. So I had to go teach him a few things, and and yeah, I had him shooting pretty good. By the end of it, uh, I think he had an absolute blast. But um, it's probably not going to be the last time we go and do that. How to shoot right? What does it mean to you? That's a loaded question. <laughs> oh, I can't stand these questions, but um, I mean, he's handled it. I think he's focused on himself this whole year, and um, I'm, I'm excited to see what he can do for for our defense and and, and just being a good teammate, uh, being a good teammate with him for him. Um, I think he handles it very good, obviously, because I mean, people talk. But if you want to pay attention to that, then that'll clutter your mind. But I think he's ignored that. Everyone should ignore that. That's why I don't really look at social media that much. So it's, it is what it is. They're not the ones that are coaching. They're not the ones that are playing. So people can run their mouths all they want. From this off season? Yeah, like you and Mike are going to the Oh yeah. He's uh, that's one thing that's really impressed me about Micah is he's all about uh, like camaraderie, team camaraderie, and it's one thing to say like, hey, let's go do this and do that, but it's another thing to follow through with it because there's so many guys that will and that won't. Um, but I think that means a lot to me uh, coming from him and and him wanting to go out and and, and do these things. Uh, obviously, I mean, he was new to that, so and I'm familiar with that obviously because I do it all the time, and, and I think he had an absolute blast doing it. So. Um, like I said, we're gonna we're gonna keep continuing to do all that because I think that's important, and he has shown that it's important to him too. Does he ever sit still on these things like he's out? He's no. With you or he's playing, you know. No, he's still he's still young. He's learning. <laughs> uh, but I mean, you got to give it to him. I mean, he's a high energy guy, and he shows it on the field. So you got to respect that. Um, I love his play style. I love his his personality and his character. Um, he's he's a heck of a kid, and. Like I said, I'm, I'm I'm just happy to be playing with him. In the preseason games, uh, you were kind of laughing when he was like wanting to get back in. Were you that guy two or three years ago, like wanting to play a lot more and realizing it's preseason? I'm still that guy. It's not about getting away from, okay, hey, like you want all the reps you can get. Everyone should want all the reps you can get. Or why? I mean, like, why? The, what's the point of you even playing the game and playing the sport? You grew up playing a sport that you love and now you're playing at the highest level you obviously want to play the most that you can it has nothing to do with that it has trust and it has everything to do with trusting what the coaches have in their plan for you how different is the room this year obviously with Sean not being there but just some of these younger guys just what's the different vibe in there and obviously George Edwards more involved what, what's it like now this year yeah I mean I miss having Sean and his leadership every single day because I mean I, I learn stuff from him all the time and I can still text him I can call him and 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 ask him questions and ask him for leadership here and in, in certain areas um, and I mean he'll bounce things off of me too so and I love the guy for that I always will um, but I mean the the dynamic of the room has definitely changed obviously because we got a lot of new faces um, and we're all young for the most part, so uh, we're all learning. I think we can all continue to learn and, and continue to grow together. Do you like the competition that kind of comes with it? Like we've talked to Jalen about, you know, might see less maps this year, special teams this year. I'm not going to ask you that, but like the competition of being proud, is that something that you embrace? It makes us all better. I mean, if we can push each other, like I said, you're not competing against each other. Like, I'm not. I'm not, I'm not, I don't have any ill intentions towards you or the guy that my left or right, but I'm going to compete with you so we can make each other better. Good? Cool. Thank you.